Yeah, your stream is just stuck. Oh! Oh. And now it's back. Cool. Use their skeletons to, like, Make build a... Stairs. Um, Why am I offline? What the fuck? Your stream cut out for a minute. It fully stopped. It didn't just buffer. It, it died. But it's back now, for me. It's back for me now. Well. Oh. 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 Let me hear so. Oh, Skeleton stairs. Okay. Well. Who lived here, I wonder? Lumos. Patronum. <laughs> I don't like what they're talking about. What well, I'm hearing people talk. Like in game? Yeah, I'm hearing them talk and it's real creepy. I gotta use this potion. Yeah, it's crap. Leviosa! Convringo! Person. My bite is worse than my bark. Can you get back in this arena, please? Akio, come here. Levioso. Oh, come here. Get back in full out. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to do a thing. Levioso. Akio. 
Coaching days are over. Lumos. Yeah, I need him to cast a certain spell so I can interrupt it. So that's why I think so. But he doesn't know I let him live several times. What's in here? Lumos. What's in here? Oh, okay. Well, let's dive, 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 dive. I've already been in here. Okay. Quest. Uh. Like that, that's a thousand dollar potion I can't like make because I don't have the right ingredients to make it. The wand chooses the wizard. Hey. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Ah. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. What the fuck? The mobs? You two seem ready for adventure.
map, there's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the portkey and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness complete the trial and inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? Yes. We shall very definitely have a look. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Mm. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Cool map, though. Can I use the map out through here? No, oh, wow. Yeah, you. 
I haven't. I have not been there. learned Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Uh. Oh, did I go into the three broomsticks or something? What? The forest to go into the forest? No. No. Pardon me, but what are you saying? I'm Clementine, Willetsy, Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Hmm. Follow the butterflies. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Money for this? No, I do not. I'm about to have the money for Thanks it. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Big hat. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Is that the only freaking line you know, sir?
That item is of the highest quality. That's the only line he has. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I got a broom now. Whilst nearly everyone say some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaves. Complete work on my first upgrade. Well, I accidentally What's that? switched my audio out, but yeah, it's kind of wondering why you weren't saying anything that you were. <laughs> that sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm got right, a new broom, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in yeah, every regard. I got and the, I can give the you a moon, special the moon price. Camera? The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, let me know. Ah, <sighs> Mr. Claw. Imelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Okay. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Okay. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. Made it. Oh, 
Now that's more like it! Go beyond! Excellent. And I'd be here time. <laughs> this is rather fun. So easily. Yeah. Like over a minute, but I, I think almost exactly a minute. No, by uh. Ugh, that's 40. not. You, you must have cheated. Forty you. seconds. Mm -hmm. Fine, you won. Don't think this Ooh. is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. All right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. I never thought. <laughs> I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. First try. This quick moves faster than walking. Yeah. I'm out of cookies. I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Rays must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. I... Drifty, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Next quest. Pop balloons. She wants me to pop balloons. That's really your quest? Not the one I want to do, but it's a quest. <laughs> Follow the butterflies is the one I want to do. The game crashed again. 
Well, I'll just take the game. Uh, hopefully the game won't break again. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Does this mean you're?